Hi guys, welcome back to the second part of my Scania dump truck build. Uh, today I'm going to focus on building the tipper frame for the tipper box. So, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a tipper frame from this steel plate and put it on this frame. And then we will create the tipper mechanic on the rear end here that we can attach the tipper box to. So here's the plants ready to be cut and then we will bend uh, these parts. I'll show you, it's hard to explain while, while it's flat, so let's cut it. the tipper frames I know I said I wanted to change this with the original plastic piece uh, but I can't find the plastic piece that I thought I had, so I have to use this. And the screws are in the way for the frame, so I had to modify the frame a bit. I'm uh, putting the frame on and checking if everything fits and then now I'm making new holes for the tipper uh, mechanic and uh, I'll drill those holes and then we can create some mounting holes on the front of the frame they should be mounted around here somewhere so let's go ahead and drill the holes Don't know. 
back here all the time Hoping that we did it right And give me any reason To call you up late at night And we know it's for the best I won't put up a fight Cause when the day I comes I still lose So when I feel it again, I just don't know And I'm hoping I find a way to let go So if you love me, how could you leave me so long? So when I feel it again, I just don't So the zipper frame is now mounted on the truck I'm going to drill a hole here on each side and put a screw in here as well and once that's finished we're going to move on to the tipper mechanic so when I say tipper mechanic what I really mean is the tipper mechanism uh, English is hard <laughs> So here's the tipper frame finished and you can see it's almost perfect in level which is important. So let's get uh, get on to the tipper mechanic. Oh, the tipper mechanism, sorry. <laughs> So the tipper mechanism is now mounted and now you can see how the tipper mechanism works. So the next step will be to put on the tipper motor and uh, create the tipper motor mount. It will sit on the front here. There's uh, one thing worth mentioning about the, this tipper mechanism and that is the skirts on the side here. I create them so when the tipper box is upright like this 
the skirts will actually center the tipper box on its way down. You see? So this locks the tipper box from going sideways. tipper motor mount now I'm going to mount this onto the frame These big screws uh, are just temporarily, they're there to hold everything in place. Now I'm going to look around and see if I can find some uh, smaller profile screws so that they don't uh, touch the tipper box. So before I put the lock nuts on these two screws, I need to create a brace that goes around the motor underneath and comes back up to clamp the motor in place onto this plate. What, what's happening when you use the tipper motor is the force from the tipper box back to the motor. So the motor might start flexing like this and you don't want that to happen. Which is why we're going to create a brace to lock the motor in place. There's the tipper motor in place. Up next we're going to mount this piece onto the motor. This side is 6 millimeters and the other side is 8 millimeters. Now this is called a universal coupling. You can buy these from for example eBay, AliExpress. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to mount it onto the motor shaft 
and then we're going to create a mark so we can drill a hole for the set screw to dig into. the lights but it's camera time so take the picture but you rolled your eyes now i'm mortified and still terrorized push me behind to get me from my better side i want to push you back but that's all you want want to rub me up i'm holding back trying to get me framed on me in cuffs said i attacked you that's just a false truth no need to argue And yeah, I've had enough You follow me anywhere I try to be alone I find you there There's more to me Everywhere I try to go alone I find you there You follow me So with the tipper cylinder in place, I can now create a cylinder mount for the tipper box and then I can mount the tipper box onto the frame.
tipper box is in place. Um, I'm going to take off the cabin. Uh, I'm going to paint a clear coat on it. And at the same time I can turn the truck upside down. That way I can uh, get to the screws for the cylinder mount underneath. So here you can see the mount for the cylinder. Uh, we're going to have to drill a few holes through the tipper box and the tipper box mount. Let's see if we can put some. There we go. It's been marked. Now let's drill the holes. Need to clean up the holes again. So the tipper box, the tipper cylinder, and the tipper frame is now finished. I'm going to hook the motor onto a battery and see if it works and hopefully it does <laughs> or else I'm going back to the drawing board. So it's getting late guys and I'm getting tired as well. So I think I'll end this video right here. Uh, I got a lot of progress done today. We almost have the dump truck ready. Uh, what I'm going to focus on next, I think I'll paint the, the cabin with the clear coat and we're going to focus on the electronics and maybe some other smaller details. I think the progress on this truck is coming along nicely. Uh, I'm very happy with how it's turning out. Anyway guys, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.